Good morning everyone and welcome to another Japanese Castle Explorer video. Um, so here we are in Kumamoto Castle. Um, uh, a castle I've visited several times but um, here I am again today. I was actually just going to drive past and go to southern, uh, southern Kyushu, uh, southern Kumamoto but I thought I, I just have to stop and drop by and check it out. And anyway, here's the castle. Um, it's quite a large castle. Uh, it was built well, basically, this was built by uh, Kato Kiyomasa. Um, but before that, there were fortifications in, in this sort of area. There was an older castle. And I believe even before then, there was another, an older fortifications over in that, that part of the castle. Um, anyway, let's have a look at Kato Kiyomasa. There he is. Um, and I think, from memory, he was... Uh, he came here in 1588, and he was given the uh, the northern half of uh, Higo uh, Higo Province. Um, and then after what the Battle of Sekigahara, I think he took over the whole prefecture. Um, and then he built this whole castle, and uh, it's a pretty pretty impressive castle. Um, just going to go over here. They're doing some restoration work on what I believe is the ba Bagu Yagura. So that's the turret with the uh, horse riding equipment. Well, I believe. Horse, goods, turret. And they're re rebuilding the stonework. You can see under the tarpaulin. And the stones are actually lined up and numbered just where that gentleman is walking. So they're all uh, lined up, ready to go back exactly how they were taken out. Um, and the, yeah, uh, to the right there's that long Nagabe. That's the uh, one of the. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sure it's long and it's old and it's uh, it's an important cultural property. So, uh, and there we go. We can see the uh, five-story Ida Yagura over there in the center of the screen, and perhaps we can just see. The um, the very top of the central tower, perhaps, perhaps not. Okay, guys. Well, um, this is, I've not prepared at all for this. Well, um, I just thought I'd drop by. I was in the neighbourhood, and uh, forgive the appearance. And uh, I hope this will be a, a fun day in Kumamoto City. Okay, so here we are on the uh, the southern side of the castle, and I'm. I'm pretty cold. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, there's a series of turrets over there. Oh, so the southern side of the castle, there's lots of um, important cultural properties, um, build buildings that, that have survived since uh, the early uh, 1600s. Um, and there's a series of uh, one-story turrets over there. Uh, perhaps there's three or four. And then we come to these uh, longer ones here. Um, these stone walls are just well, wow, huge. Have a look up there, goes up. And you can see there's a, um, a downward facing window, uh, Ishiyotosh. And it's a rather long turret. And um, I think it's certainly possible to climb the walls. However, in, uh, in times of war, <laughs> when you're being targeted, <laughs> by arches and whatnot. Quite frankly, I, I don't really like your chances. This is a bit baffling too. I don't know what the deal is here. Maybe some um, 1900s uh, what's the word? Well-intentioned uh, restoration or maybe just shoring up the, um, the walls. Ah, there's another gate up there. That's the only gate I think that remains as it was, untouched from the end of the major period, at uh, the end of the uh, Edo period. So that's a bit special. There's another single story turret up here. Oi! Always oh, slipping. Ah, uh, Akazu. So that gate's the Akazu gate. Ah, uh, up there, sorry. The one I mentioned, and this is where you would enter, pay your fee. Okay, so. That's an interesting little turret. It's sort of got the the look of a 
of a hermit's cottage. Anyways, it's overhanging. You can see there's, or maybe you can't see, but um, there's uh, basically holes in the floor of that building which can be used to uh, shoot arrows down. As I must. Um, there you go. Yeah, I like the look of this one. Anyway, the walls are just, the walls just go on and on. And truly massive walls. Not that one. My hands are freezing. Okay, I think I've just spied a look at the main tower. There it is, of course, and unfortunately a concrete reconstruction. The, the original one uh, bit the dust in 1877 when Saigo Takamori and his friends from Satsuma came up and uh, wanted to die like samurai or something like that. Okay, uh, can't really see but there's a, where the V, the V of stonework, in the valley there, there's a the five-story Uto Yagura. Um, uh, originally, uh, the main tower for Uto Castle, which I hope to get to today. Um, that's probably a, a better look at the walls. It's probably hard to get the scale again, but... Um, anyway, it is tall. If I were to guesstimate, I cannot guess. 30 meters? 30 meters? Okay guys, um, see you soon.